everybody, I'm Starla. I'm Mick. And we are Our, Our Fair Place, Place Gays. Gays. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome back to another week. Yes, another week. Yes. Yeah. Our last week was busy. Yes. And we hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Yes. Yes, yes. Hope you had all the food you wanted to eat. Because I did. Yes, we I did. did. Yes, we had a good time. We had a we good time. We did. And played all the games you wanted to play. That's true. Because we played some games. We played some games. Yes, we, yes, yes. we had a Friendsgiving. Uh, we had a Friendsgiving. Yes. Where did that come from? I don't know. Because that's not a real holiday. No, it's not. But I think it's just when friends get together and yeah. it's not based on family, but a bunch of friends get together for the holidays when they call it a Friendsgiving. It's Thanksgiving. Well, you celebrate the holiday. It's Thanksgiving, family. Where, where, where does Friendsgiving but, but we, come well, from? Well, we celebrated our holiday okay. with friends. I need to know where this Friendsgiving, because you know, you know, retail folk gonna capitalize on that <laughs> real soon. They gonna get on that if yeah. they haven't already. But we yeah. had a wonderful Friendsgiving yes. with some wonderful friends. Yes. Great food. Yes. Great company, and yes. we hope you had the same. Yes, we hope you had the same. So now it is on to the winter and Christmas. Yes, yes, Christmas is coming. It's, uh, no, Christmas <laughs> is almost here. In the retailer's, uh, you know, mm. mind, it was here in October. Yes, it was. Before Halloween. <laughs> you know, they <laughs> skipped Halloween, Thanksgiving, and said, come on, it's Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas, y'all. Yeah. Yes. Well, everybody, this week, we're going to do a recap of our BGG Con yeah. Fall 2023 yeah. experience. Yeah, yes, right here, We y'all. had so much fun oh. in Dallas. Oh. All the games we played, oh, the yeah. people we met, yes. the friends we got a chance to reunite with again. Yes. So much fun, and we want to share that fun with you. Yes. But before we get into all that good stuff, let's hear a word from our awesome sponsors, mm-hmm. KTBG, yes. Cephala Fair Games, yes. and Lucky Duck. Here we go! How do you spell fun? KTBG. Delight your friends and family with games from kids' table board gaming, such as Creature Comforts, Power Plants, and Dice Veggies. Make your family game night an event everyone will look forward to, because KTBG spells fun for the entire family. To view their entire catalog, visit kidstablebg.com. Fair Games is on a quest to make super amazing games that minimize randomness and reward player savvy. Their big claim to fame is their legacy style dungeon crawler Gloomhaven and other games in the universe such as Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, Founders of Gloomhaven, Gloomhaven Forgotten Circles, and their latest entry into the world Frosthaven, which is an even bigger adventure. Cephala Fair Games has expanded into new and exciting spaces such as comics, video games, and audio. Bring the fantasy to life with Cephala Fair Games. Welcome to the Lucky Duck Games Universe the creators of Chronicles of Crime and Destinies, and publisher of Oros, My Shelfie, Namalia, Flamecraft, and much, much more. Lucky Duck Games offers hours of fun and entertainment for you, your family, and friends. The variety of games, upgrades, and accessories under their banner is unparalleled. So are you feeling lucky? Be sure to check out their entire catalog at LuckyDuckGames.com All right, our awesome sponsors, Kids Table Board Gaming, 
Cephala Fair Games. Yes. And Lucky Duck Games. Yes. Are awesome sponsors. Awesome. They help us do what we do in this hobby. Yes. And we hope you guys will check out their games and show them some love. Now, fam, you know it's bl you know Black Friday has come and gone, so we are now in the midst of the Christmas buying season. Yes. So go check them out. They got yes. some good games now, y'all. Christmas gifts. Ooh <laughs> yes, ooh yes, yes, ooh yes. So next we have Ask a PG. What do we have this week? All right, got two good questions. Okay. Very good questions. Okay. Now, Sus uh, Susie and Jared from Facebook, that's <laughs> long time, good friends, yes. OFPG. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, they asked, if you were to design a game, mm. what theme would you pick? Hmm. Then the second one is, and what game mechanism would you want to include in it? Ladies first. <laughs> Yes. Well, you know, there are a lot of games out there like this, but if yes. I were to design a game, okay. I'd probably do something based on either nature or travel okay. because it allows the artist to be colorful and it and do different things and mm -hmm. be creative. Yes. And then the mechanism I would use would be worker placement. Okay. Oh, you like worker placement. I love worker placement. You love worker placement. And I, I want that game to be visually appealing yes. and beautiful. Yes. And you can really do that with nature games yeah. and travel games where you're doing different, you know, locations in the world and you can make it beautiful. So yeah. That is cool. What artist would you use? Oh gosh, that's a, <laughs> that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot, but I mean, that's Woo! a lot to think about. But I mean, you've got Beth Sobel, of course. And you got Vincent Dutroit. Vincent Dutre. Dutre, Dutre. The <laughs> French guy who does real good, uh, you know, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And so we got a lot to choose from, yeah, but you, do. you know, that's what I, that's what I would do. That's what you do. Yeah. What about you? Now you know, there's a lot of nature games out there. I, I just it's said that lot. there's a lot, but I mean, if I had my druthers. Yeah. That's the kind of game I like. I love nature games. Yeah, because this is the season of nature right now. In the, in the games, yeah. uh, it's season of nature. And, and I love location games and, you yeah. know, building up cities yeah. and stuff like that. So I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think for me, the theme that I would pick would be, uh, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled mm -hmm. with see, And I think for my latest trip to BGG, we were yeah. on the road. Yeah. I think I would expand a little bit yeah. on Great Heartland. Oh, like a travel? You know, like a tr no, like a, you know, yeah. a trucker. You, you, you're, oh, you want to be a trucker? Yeah, you're kind of, you know, you're kind of running a mm -hmm. trucking, a trucking industry okay. or a trucking company, mm -hmm. and you got to get, you know, your trucks everywhere to get them to do things, oh. and they run into issues like, you know, uh, you know, police barricades or trying to get their weight, you know, going into different states and stuff, you know, just running a, you, a you trucking a company. You put a lot of thought into that yes, one. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I didn't put a lot of thought Because, you know, you go on the road and you see all these trucks and stuff, and we stopped to sell yeah. a truck, you know, truck, truck stops, uh, truck yeah, stops yeah, and yeah, stuff. And I'm looking, I'm like, dang, this would make a good game. Let's make a good game. And I think the mechanism would be pick up and deliver, pick up and deliver. you know, resource management, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. Okay. Yeah. I think I, like, I that. like that. Ooh, I have a good old game. Uh, I think so. Yeah, good old game, yeah. <laughs> I'm not so. going to make it, though. I'm not going to make it. That's too much for me, y'all. Too much. That's too much. Too much. Now, thank you for that question, well, Susie you. and Jared. Thank you so much. Love y'all. Love y'all. All right, next one. From Corlew. Hey, Corlew. Love you, Corlew. What's going on? From YouTube. Do you have a catchphrase or a song that gets sung during certain games? For example... Yes. Lots of gamers sing the We Built This City on Rock and Roll oh, song Jesus, when sing. using don't a rock, a, a rock or brick resource yeah. during building something. Now, I never thought that. I never thought of saying yeah. that. I, I, I have well, heard we, that. But yeah, we don't do that. Yeah, we don't well, do I, that. I have, I have a, a what do you have? What do you I have, have a saying. And it's usually with games that may, in, that may involve take that. Mm -hmm. Or some way to, you know, hurt your, your yeah, opponent. Yeah, you do have a catchphrase. I, I, I say, don't start none. Won't be won't none. Be none. <laughs> won't be none. But I always start it, But family. he never listens. Because I got to <laughs> take a own. He never and I listens. can't be scared. I cannot be scared. <laughs> I cannot be. But I say, don't start now, won't be now. He can't always be scared, starts. Though. She can't and then scare I gotta me. come back and get it. She can't scare me. But I, I don't I don't like to go after people. Yeah, you do. And yeah, you I, do. I do not. Yeah, you do. You come I don't like at to go us. after you people come in games. At us, but if you come after me, yes. then it's on. 
But we got to. It's on like Donkey Kong. We just gonna let you alone. We we just gonna just move to the back and just let you move forward. Well, you know what? You don't have you don't have to do that. What? But just know that when you come at me, all bets are off. And now it is all. I am laser focused. So at the beginning of the game, all bets are off with you. (laughs) At the beginning of the game, if you come at me, (sighs) and I've been nice the whole game. No, you. What? I am. I. I don't start off. I don't try to mess with people. Family. I don't. No. No family. (laughs) Do not listen to the propaganda from her. Don't listen to it. Just remember, don't start done, won't be none. Don't listen. (laughs) Because she comes at us. <laughs> She's not nice. That is not true. Yes, it <laughs> That's is. That's not true. Because we got to battle it. We got to battle it. But you know, I have to say yeah. that I have been winning a lot lately. And I've been happy. Mm. I, yes, family, I have been a winning. Lot. How do you define a lot? Huh? How do you define a lot? Well, when we were playing at BGG and we were playing together, I won a bunch. Jeez. Oh, yes, I won a bunch. So yeah. I think, family, my luck... Might be changing. We'll I see. hope. I hope. We'll see. I hope. We'll see. Yes, I hope. <laughs> I'll say that again. We, I hope. We will you know, see. I hope, you know. <laughs> Throwing it out there in the universe. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Coral. Thank, you, thank Coral you so Lou much. Love question. you. Love you. Love you. All right. So next, we're going to have the winners. Yes. Of our Catan. Oh, it's winning time. So don't go anywhere. Yes. When we come back, we're going to announce a winner. Here we go. Right, it is time to pick a winner. Yes, and the question that was asked mm-hmm. was, "What dangers, mm. you know, lurk in space?" Okay. And the que- and the answer to that question was, "Space pirates." Space pirates. Yes, space pirates lurk out there trying to beat you up. <laughs> so that was the answer uh-huh. to that question. Okay. So here we go. All right, let's everybody do it. Everybody got it right. Let's here we go. It. All right, good luck, everybody. <laughs> And also, thank you to everyone that entered, too. Thank you so much. All right, you ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh, the Clark family! The Clark family! Yay! The Clark family, you got it! Well, congratulations, the Clark family! Congratulations! (laughs) All right, so what what they have won is the Catan Starfarers base game. Yes. Put that big old thing up there, yeah. <laughs> and also, they won the brand new expansion, Catan New Encounters. Yes. yes. so you get all that, Clark <laughs> yes. family, that's gonna be coming to you. So we'll get in touch with you soon, so you can give us all your information, and this will be coming to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, so next we're gonna have some board game news. Here we go. All right, Mick, what do we have in the news this week? Oh, of course. Mm. I've got to brace myself. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, I had a little pause there. Family had a little pause there. Yes. Each week it gets yes. worse. It gets better, family. Each week it gets better. Tomato, yes. tomato. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. All right, All right so have? I got just a little news because we want to go. We definitely want to go and see what you know, talk about BGG. Okay. You know. Uh, so I got some news. Strange news. Don't know if we needed news, but I got it. Z-Man Games has announced that in February 2024, it will release another love letter. Oh. Yeah, but this is Bridgerton. Oh, Bridgerton. Bridgerton okay. Love Letter. Okay. Yes, yeah, from the uh, <laughs> real popular show on Netflix from, uh, from like, it's kind of like Victorian time, yeah. but very diverse. Yes. yes. A reimagined. A reimagined, yes. Victorian era. A reimagined era. Victorian era with mm. very diverse and inclusive class. Yes, cast. Yes. yes. Now, a twist on the 2012 game Love Letter in which players launch an investigation mm-hmm. to figure out who Lady Whistledown identity is while uh, while encountering uh, characters from the Bridgerton series on Netflix. Because Lady Whistledown is kind of like the basis of the show where this, this person mm-hmm. is kind of telling the business of the court. 
Oh. She's, uh, she's you know, a gossip. She's a gossip person. Okay. Yeah. Lady Whistle Down. Okay. You know, so she's giving some gossip out, and people trying to find out who this woman is ah. giving out this gossip. Okay. So you're trying to find out who it is. Okay. Who's the identity? Now, Love Letter Bridgerton, which is for two to six players, includes the real popular Queen Charlotte. That actress, is she does a thing. Yeah. So she's very popular, so they really love that. And she's going to be a special character who gives you the power to eliminate multiple players in a single turn. Oh. That's cold. Wow. That's a new one that's there. That's power there. That's power there. That, but she's mm. the queen. She's the queen. She's the queen. So that's coming out in February 2024. So if you want another love letter with a twist, there you go. Sounds interesting. There you go. Now, family, a couple weeks ago, I was talking about how Monopoly is almost in every city. Yes. And every week, new cities pop yes. up saying, yes. we're going to be in a Monopoly. And they so wow. happy. Mm. And the city just go crazy about it. And they got their little landmarks and stuff in there. I got some more. Oh, okay. There's For more. this week. And there's more. <laughs> and there's more. For this week, I got the cities of San Jose. Okay, San Jose, California. Uh, Worc Worcestershire, England. Okay, I think it's Worcestershire. Worcestershire, yeah, Worcestershire, uh, England. Yeah, something Worcestershire, like that. Yes, Worcestershire, England. We're not English. We're not English. <laughs> we sorry, family in England. We love y'all. Something like that. We love y'all. So we got that. But this one... Mm -hmm. That's we just came from. Yeah. And that's Denton. Denton, Texas. Denton, Texas is going to have a monopoly. Denton, Texas. And we just came from that family. We just rolled yeah, we through there. Through Denton all yeah, because yeah. we're gonna tell you what's in Denton though, but but yeah, Denton <laughs> is, is gonna have a monopoly too. Well, okay. and that's just this week. So you get a monopoly and you get a monopoly and you get a monopoly. Okay. Everybody get a monopoly. From the school of Oprah Winfrey. Yes. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a lookout and see what's going on with their monopoly. Oh, okay. I'm gonna call it Monopoly City Watch. Okay. Monopoly City Watch. Monopoly City Watch. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to just say, okay, this this week somebody else gonna get some. So, so yeah. So just look out for it. I might throw that in there sometime. <laughs> so yeah. So that's all I got, Starla. What you, you got? got? Yeah. Okay. So as for me. I want to encourage you all to check out our latest episode of OFPG Voices. Okay. We introduced a new voice. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I'm not going to tell you who he is. Well, Greg going to put you're it gonna, up. You're going to have to go check it out. No, no, Greg going to well, put it up. Well, he'll probably put it up. So you go check it out and see our latest addition to our yes. OFPG Voices yes. team. And we've got an episode coming up on December 6th. Yes. And that's the next one. And then we're going to have our big Christmas show. Yes. Last year, yes. we had all of our OFPG voices together on yes. one show. Yes. Talking about games they love. Yes. And we're going to do it again this year. This and year that episode will be on December 20th. So be sure to check out our OFPG voices. That's a big one, voices. family. Christmas that is show. a big one. Be there. Be yes. there. And then we're going to launch our ugly Christmas sweater episode again. Yes. We're going to have some ugliness <laughs> up in here. Yes. We we had so much fun last year. Yes. So many of you sent in your ugly Christmas sweater pictures with you and your co-workers, yes. you and your kids, your family, your friends. Please do it again. Send in your pictures. Tell us who you are. We want to show those pictures. Talk about those pictures. Yes. And just have some fun talking about ugly Christmas sweaters. And that's going to be on our December 24th episode. Mm -hmm. Now, the deadline to send your pictures in is December 15th. So start today. Start today. Take your pictures. Take your pictures. Send them in. Get on our show. Be <laughs> yes. seen on our show. And we'll be wearing yeah. our ugly Christmas sweaters as well. Now, for all of our Kickstarter backers, yes. you should have received your survey from Backer Kid. Yes. Fill them out. Fill them out, yo. Fill them out. Come on, get yes. ready to get your stuff. So we can get everything done. Yeah. Once we get our surveys completed, then yeah. we can start with our fulfillment. Come on. Yes. Let's get it going. I think right now we're probably at about 76%. We're 76%. Yeah, yeah. we need to get yeah. to that 99, 100% on. so we Let's can do this. start doing the fulfillment because we're yes. ready. We're ready. We want to send you your stuff. We're getting there. <laughs> Come on, we're getting there. Let's do this. Now, if you want to know where we're going, in the next few days, weeks, yeah. let me tell you, yeah. if you're here in Omaha, locally, yes, locally, we're going to be doing another OFPG pop-up shop. We're popping it. Yes, where we are selling games. Yes. And we're going to be at Christmas in the Village yes. right here in Omaha, Nebraska yes. on December 2nd from noon to 5 p.m. Yes. So if you're, if you're in the area, in the vicinity, come on by, say hi. If you want to get some games for your family, 
come do Buy some games. Yes. So yes. we are partnering with the game shop here in Omaha to help get games out to underrepresented communities yes. and communities of color who may or may not know about the game shops that we have here or about the hobby that we're in. And we want to show those games to them and give them an opportunity to take a game home. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we're trying to do. Just yes. spread the love <laughs> of board gaming. Yes. yes, we are. Now, BGG Con Fall was our last convention for this year. Yes, it was. But we'll be kicking it live Kick starting it. in January. In January, right yeah. around the corner. <laughs> and we will be at OrcaCon. Yes. From January 5th through the 7th in 2024. In Seattle. <laughs> in Seattle. Washington. Yes, yes. Yes. So be sure if you're in the Seattle area, Portland area, Vancouver, BC, if you're in the area, come on by the come convention. On. Hang out with us. Come play on. some games with us. Yeah. We're gonna do a live show like we always do. Yeah. And we'll be giving away games like we always do. Like we always do, always family. Do. Like so we if you are in it. the Seattle Bellevue, because I think the convention is, is it actually Bellevue? It's in Bellevue. Bellevue. Yes. Uh, if you're in the Seattle Bellevue area, yeah. come check us out. Renton. Renton. Because that's where we used to stay. That's where <laughs> yeah. we used to stay in Renton. Renton, yeah. anywhere in the area. Come on by. Come on by. Come on. Come on. And I think that's all I have that's for all the you news. Got? So now we are going into the heart of the episode. But first, Starla. What about our merchandise? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I know I got BGG on, <laughs> but what about our merchandise? What about our merch? Yes. Well, you know, if you're looking for a shirt, uh -huh. our cup, yes. our mug, yeah. check us out on Spring. That's right, because Starla had a surprise <laughs> at our panel at BGG. Yes, there was yes. a guy sitting on the front row, and he came in with his OFPG tumbler that he got on Spring, and I had not and seen one. Starla had one. to stop and say, wait a minute! <laughs> I had seen one in the wild. She I was said, like, look. Oh my God, that's OFPG tumbler. It's yes, beautiful. Did, yes, so if you did. want a nice little water tumbler, you need to get one. You get one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, so now we're going into the heart of the episode. Here we go. All right, we have made it to the yes. heart of the episode. Yes, we did. BGG Con Fall. 2023. 2023. Yes. <laughs> we had a oh good God. time. A whole week in Dallas. A good time. Yes. Yes. And we got a chance to do yes. and see and eat. Yes. A lot of things. And then leaving <laughs> out, leaving out, we got a chance to replenish. <laughs> The stuff that we miss here in Nebraska. Yes, we did. Yes. Yeah, but so we ended up getting into Dallas late Wednesday because yes. we ended up leaving a little bit later. Yes. And we decided to drive this time instead of flying yes, in. Yes, we did. We drove. You know, so it's about a 10-hour drive yeah. from here to Dallas. Yes. But it was a fun drive. Yes, it was. Nice little family road trip. We just made fun of it. We, we just had, we fun, had fun, you know, listening to music and yep. talking and stopping when we're, wherever we wanted yeah, to stop. we stopped. It was a lot more fun than flying. Yes. So let me give first... Some BGG Con Fall 2023 stats. Okay, we're gonna do stats. Okay. I'm gonna do some stats. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come stats. Okay, with let's facts. do stats. <laughs> with stats. All right. So now, now they have a huge library. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many library games they have available, Starla? No. How many? Eight thousand. 522. Oh my goodness. 8,000, almost 9,000 games. Wow. That's a lot. That's like 10 times okay. a week. And when you go into the yeah. the place where the library is, it is humongous. Yeah. That's like 10 times what we have. Oh, it's 10 times. Yeah, 10 times a week. We're not going to get there. Man. No, uh, what? We're not going to get there, man. Who knows? Where we are right now. Who is, knows? Enough. Who knows? Who knows, family? Ooh. Who knows? Well, those are not good numbers for you to know. Yeah. <laughs> those are not good numbers. And not good numbers, not no. 8,000. I might not get to 8,000, family. I hope not. I hope not. Hey, if we get to 8,000, we, we, we will have no home. We, we don't have, have a have. warehouse. We'll be, we'll be just living in a hotel while the house is the, you know, the warehouse, yeah. you know. All right, so now, how many badges were sold? Oh, let's see. 3,050. Wow. Guess how many people showed up for real, though? How many? 29,000. 2,900. Oh, uh, yeah, 2,900 and 39. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. So that's yeah. about 100 something didn't show yeah, up. Yeah, about 100 that's something. That's not bad. Wow, 2,900 people. Yeah, 2,900 wow. people. That is not bad. The hotel was just packed with It games. was packed. 
just gamers. Every every corner, Everywhere. everywhere you turned, you saw bags. You looked in, into the little <laughs> cubbies, you know, where different uh, uh, places are. And what I liked about the little different places, you know, upstairs, they had little yeah. different rooms and yeah. stuff. If the main ballrooms, and they had two this time. Absolutely. Last time they only had one. Yeah. But this time they opened up another, so they had two, because you can see it's yeah. growing. Yeah. If it's too loud in there. Yeah. You can go it gets to, loud. Yeah, it gets loud. It gets you can loud. go to one of the other little kind yeah. of tinier rooms yeah. to keep the sound down. Yeah. And I like that. Yeah. You know, it I just like depends that. on what kind of gamer you are. Yes. If the noise doesn't bother you and you like the you know the excitement of yes. the atmosphere, people walking yes. around and milling around, then those big ballrooms are perfect. Yes. But sometimes you may want it to be a little bit quieter. And we did go to a smaller room yes, so that we could play in the a little cotton bit quieter. Room. The cotton bowl room. Yeah. We could play in a little bit quieter area. But we also played in the main ballroom yes, too. Did. So we, yes, we, we did. did both. Yes, we did. So it's a real... Good mix of things. Very good and mix. And they had the whole hotel in control. Yes, they did. Yeah, and what was so cool about it, if you didn't get your game in, your yeah. rented, I mean, the game from the library yeah. in on time yeah. when the library closed, mm -hmm. you could give that game to the front desk. Yep. And they'll take care of it until yep. the library comes and picks it up in the morning. In the morning. I never saw that before. That's, that's crazy, I never man. saw that before. I mean, but... That but, is wild, family. But, you know, BGG has been there so many years. Yes. And then they know that so many people are there just for the convention. Yeah. You know, I would really like to know what the numbers are on how many people were there for the convention and how many people there were just regularly. Because yes. it's almost like BGG had the whole hotel almost. They had the whole hotel. It was almost like that. But, I mean, I did see some people yeah. that were like, what are you guys here for? You know, so there were a few people still asking questions. Yes. Now, here yeah. are the... Top eight library checkouts for BGG 2023. Okay. They put out, you know, Aldi puts out the, you know, the, you know, yeah. the stats for that. Yeah. Number one, Last Light. Oh, Roy Kennedy. Yeah, Roy Kennedy from the Dice oh, Tower. Wow. His game was played a lot. Wow. That's, a lot. Because yeah. they have like a, a hot games room that yeah. have all the hottest games in there. Yeah. I mean, you could never play that game. Yeah. You That's could never true. play it. Yeah. Because the, the, the minute somebody got up, People were getting on the table to play it. So, yeah, last like, yeah. and I saw a lot of people playing it. I think yeah. it's one of those games when you look at it, it has such table presence yes. with those beautiful, you know, shiny, colorful orbs, the little planets. You see that on the table, you're like, ooh, I want to play it. Yeah, and then yeah. also, you know, it's giving you, it says that they'll give you, you know, like a 4X game mm -hmm. in, in an hour. Mm -hmm. And it, it wasn't that long when we played no, it, it you know, in World Series of Board Game. It wasn't yeah. that long. Yeah. But, you know, like to get that experience of it, exploration and mm -hmm. combat and yeah. all of the stuff and do you know you, you people look at twilight imperium yeah that's eight hours see i wouldn't know because you know yeah we I'm and, you know I'm, that's gonna be a but long I did time play to play last light yes we did play last <laughs> light but you know they're giving you like a you know you don't have to do the eight hour twilight yes. twilight imperium you can yes, do you know last too. light for mm -hmm. an hour you know yes, so they give you that, that makes more sense so and a lot of people are looking at that and say hey i want to try that out so yeah. that's why i got a <laughs> lot of checkouts and that was 83 checkouts wow Actually, the next one was Forest Shuffle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I yeah. want to try out Forest Shuffle. We yeah. haven't tried it, no. but I definitely want to try it because a lot of people like that game. Okay. And that was 71 mm -hmm. checkouts. Mm -hmm. The next one, and we have it, family, and we got to play We got to play it. Okay. Uh, this, this month, we got to play it. Sky Team. Oh, Sky, Sky Team. Sky Team, the two-player, yeah. where you're trying to land a plane and you can't talk to nobody. But you said it looks pretty good because you're kind of you're doing your own thing, uh, but you got to really see what your you know your partner is doing. Yeah. You okay. know, so. Well, it's still Sky something team. I have to look at. Yes. Then the next one is from Phil Walker Harding, and that's Spellbook. Oh. Yes, yeah, Spellbook. Oh, and yeah. I definitely want to try that out, too. Yeah. I heard some yeah. good things yeah. about that. The next one I haven't heard about, so I don't know it personally, family, is Ancient Knowledge. Oh, it's a new one. I, it's a new one. I haven't heard yeah. about that one. I yeah. need to. I need to. The one, the sixth one is Barcelona. Oh, from Barcelona. From Board and Dice. Which we have. I okay. haven't played it. I played it. <laughs> Actually, I played it at BGG Con, so I'm going to have to teach Starla, and we're going to have to go through I'm it. I'm interested. Yeah, I, I'll talk I to you more about box. that. I'll the talk to you more in a minute. beautiful. Yes. The next one after that, or number seven, is the Fox Experiment from uh, yeah. it, it's from Pandasaurus Games. Yeah, I want to play yeah, that I one too. Yeah, I want to play that mm -hmm. one too, you know, because that's Elizabeth Hargrave. Yes, I want to yeah, play so that. Yeah, Elizabeth Hargrave did that yeah. one, so I definitely But I heard something, I don't know, Starla, it's kind of right. You know, it's okay. rolling right, uh, uh, it's kind of flipping right, kind of, sort of. Oh, so it's but a you gotta do some, right. It's kind of there's some writing in there, okay, so okay. I don't know. So we'll see. Well, again, you know, there are there's a couple of right. Well, that's one yeah. right game that I like. Yeah, 
But I mean, so I'll, I'll look at it. You'll look at it. Mm-hmm. And then the last one, number eight, is World Wonders. And I really, uh, that game, yeah. you basically can't get it. Yeah. It is uh, very popular and I want to mm-hmm. try it out. Because okay. a lot of people have some good things. It's a Thailand game, yeah. so I definitely want to try that out, see what it's all about. Okay. So that one, it was, uh, it was number eight. Wow. So those are the top eight games that were checked out. At BGGCon 2023. Wow. Interesting. Very yes. interesting. That's my stats, family. <laughs> so those that are your is stats. my stats. Yes. Well, you know those what? Are my stats. All I can say is we had so much fun. Yes. You know, you know, reuniting with people from that, Houston. From yeah. Houston and people we met at other cons. Yes. And seeing them again. Yes. And having the opportunity to play with them. A lot of RPG family. Yeah, a lot yes. of RPG family yes. were there. You know, and we had some family from Nebraska that came up. Yes, yes, yes. we did. Yes, we did. Yeah, we were so excited to see them. So I'm excited about everybody that came, you know, and you know, said hi. Yeah. And- <laughs> Our old friend, uh, you know, who got us into gaming, you know, uh, uh, well, Chris Trimmer Chris was Trimmer there. Chris Trimmer was there. Our good friend Charles Chris Trimmer. Charles Washington. Charles Washington. And Kim, Kim Lucas. Lucas and, and then Pastor and Gabby, Kim. And, Gabby was there. And Gabby. I mean, just yeah, so, many so many people that we knew Trey from Chambers, Houston. Trey Chambers. He's a designer. Trey Chambers. We saw oh, my him. God. Oh, all from Houston. Good people. Good people. Yes. All of them. Yes. yes. So it was so excited to just so excited to see those people from Houston there. Yeah. And we just had fun. We went out to some of our favorite restaurants yes, while we were did. there. Yes, we did. You know, I, I told my husband, I said, I'm not leaving Texas. Yes, until she get to a Papa Dope. <laughs> I have to Papa eat Dope. at Papa Dose. You gotta go to Papa Dose. So yeah. we took a lot of people. Brian, yes. uh, our good friend, uh, the Grand founder, Con, and, yes. and he runs uh, Grand Con up in Grand Rapids, in Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. Yes, good, good people, good yeah. people. He was there. And then we had we had Nathan Newman, Nathan Newman and then we had Patrick family. and Cindy Newman from yes. Houston. Yes, family from Houston. Then we had Sam. Sam <laughs> from, from BA, BA Games. Games. <laughs> yes, from here in, in, in Nebraska. Yes, and then of Lincoln. course Marcus was with us. Uh, of course, Marcus. And then Sam brought another friend, and I can't remember his name yeah, right a, now. Yeah, a designer. From uh, Canada. A designer and publisher from Canada. Yeah. Yes, yes. But he was with us as well. We had a big, huge table of 10 eating at, yeah. at, at Papa Do. Um, if anybody who, who's ever, you know, known us, especially uh, before we got into the hobby, and yes. we were living in Houston, every holiday... Every celebration that I had, yes, my restaurant of choice was Papa Dough. Papa Dough. Papa Dough. For I don't everything. Care if it was Valentine's for Day. For everything, family. Mother's Day. Yes. Uh, anniversary. Uh, just anything we're celebrating. Anything and everything. Papa, Papa Dough. But but we what? got to Waterburger. Yeah, we we got. To, well, I'm not done with Papa Dough. You're not done with Papa Dough. How long is Papa Dough? Papa Dough is important. Oh Lord. I love the entire Papa's oh. restaurant family. They got all of them yeah. right there in Dallas. It was all four. It was yeah, all, Papa yeah. Brothers Steakhouse and yes. Papa Brothers uh, Barbecue yes. and, and seafood and, yes. and and Papa was it uh, Papa Cito's. Papa Cito's. That's the tech They got everything. Yeah, they got everything. everything. Okay, okay. Now that's enough for Papa Dough. We've that's advertised that's for them home. enough. Yes. That's <laughs> so we got water burger. What, and, and, what a burger! Is what a burger, but in our Texas accent, it's water burger. That's your Texas. Uh, That's mine. It's water burger. I, I, I say water burger. A lot of people say water burger. I say what a burger. You okay, say I say water burger. You say water burger. Water burger. That's what it's, they say. And then, people, and then somebody say, you know, they uh, where's the water? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I said, where's the water? And they said, no, that's what, we, you know, some Texans say that, yes. Whataburger. Yes. You know. And uh, we got a chance to, I know yeah. you guys are going to say, oh, that's horrible food, horrible food for Jack in the Box. Yes. But you have to understand, Jack in the Box, we grew up with Jack in the Box yes, we did. tacos, and so they don't have yes. that here in Omaha. No, so not. to get to a Jack in the Box is exciting for us. Yes. I'm sorry, fam, but that is. <laughs> we love Jack in the Box. Yes. Yeah, we so, love it. And those soybean tacos. That's right. We don't care what you say, They're family. Good, we though. love those tacos. Yes. <laughs> yes, that is yes. soy meat. It's That's definitely soy meat. soy meat. Yes, but we love but it. But it's we good. Love it. Yes. But we, we had fun. We got a chance to do, uh, go to, uh, what is it, the Real Unreal. Yes. In, uh, in Grapevine, Texas. Yes, in the Meow Wolf. Meow Wolf. Yes, because we went to the one in, in Las Vegas. Vegas. Yes. Grant, you know, Grant wanted to go to that one, so yes. we went to that one. Yeah, so then we went yes. to the one here, in, in, well, the one there in, in Texas. In Texas, So yes. now Grant's on a quest to hit all of them up, so. Santa Fe, yeah. Denver, I'm yeah. like, what, how are we getting there? Yeah, he's like, he's like, I want to go to all of them. How, what? So, so like, yeah, oh, no. they're, they're an interesting yes. art installation. Yes. Um, you've got to kind of let your mind go. Yes, and, get and just involved. flow with it. Yeah. Now, there's one coming to Houston. Now, we might That's make that. That's what I heard. One. There's one coming to Houston. Yeah, there's one so, coming to Houston. So, yeah, so we did that. Yes. And, and this is all in addition to playing games. Because, we'll you know, we always games. talk about, yeah. you know, this is a lifestyle for us. Yes. So, when we go to a convention, 
we do, we spend about, I'd say 75% of our time is at the convention. Yeah. But we do carve out about 25% Just to, check, to, out to check out the city yeah. and, and add this as part of our life. We're not so in, in, you know involved in the convention that all we do is get off the plane or get out of our car and stay in the hotel 100% of the time. We want to get out and see what's around us, see your surroundings yeah. and have a good time and make it part of our lifestyle. Yes, yes. Especially lifestyle. when you have a child, you know, even though Grant's, he's 19 now, we've always wanted to make sure that he had a chance to do other things and not just yes. be stuck at a gaming table yes. the whole time we were someplace. So we always want to take him places as well. Yeah, and that's a good thing. And that's yeah, part of the board game. Yeah, as a family, game, you want to do that. Board game lifestyle. Yeah, that don't, don't drag your yeah. kids to a convention and, and you make see. them hate the convention if all they see is people playing games. That's, that's so all you want to do? Yeah, you yeah, want to take them out and let them have some activities and then out. when you play games for the next 10 hours, they'll understand. Yeah, they're like, okay. <laughs> at least yes. I went over there to that restaurant that was pretty cool. Yeah. Exactly. Now, yeah. I have to say, one of my highlights of the convention mm -hmm. was I was involved in a Texas Hold'em poker tournament. Yes, you were. And I had a lot of fun. Um, I played for three hours, which was great. And I, I lasted quite a bit. I yeah, mean, you, you know, we started off, I was probably at, a, we had about 20 or so tables, 10 people to a table. And when I was actually, uh, when I got put out. <laughs> yes. When I lost my last little money, we were down to like our last four tables. So I did really good. And they put a bounty on my head. Mm -hmm. They said, you know, start this year with our family plays games. You know, we're going to put a bounty on certain people's heads to see if they can take you out. Well, they put a bounty on my head and I had people gunning for me. But that was the wrong thing. What that did I say earlier? Don't, be, don't, don't start, start none. none don't, don't be none. none. Yeah. So um, that bounty didn't work because I stayed. I saw those people go bye-bye. <laughs> And I stayed bye, right bye. there. Yeah, so, she was there for what, what three I hours? I was there for three hours. Three hours, I, yeah. I hung in there. I saw those yeah. I saw the room empty. Yes. I walked in, the room was packed, and by the yeah. time I looked around after being moved to, from table to table, the room had empty. That's good. Now the real big highlight for me yeah. was all the designers that we met. Yes. Now oh, we my saw goodness. Isaac Vega. Yes, we you did. know, good good friend. Love yeah. him, yeah. love him. Then we saw Daryl Andrews. Yes. We saw Daryl Andrews mm -hmm. Sagrada. Mm -hmm. And then we saw uh, Matt Leacock. Yes, Pandemic. The creator of Pandemic. Mm -hmm. And and this all I have to say, I haven't played none of your games. I said, <laughs> you need to play some of his games. <laughs> I love them. You know, then we saw Martin Wallace, yes. the creator of the brass. designer of Brass Birmingham, where yeah. all the brass is so far. We saw him. Yes. And, and that was really cool to see. Yes. Yeah, and then Eric Lane, of course. Eric we Lane. love him. He's family. Oh, gosh. Eric Lane. He, oh, he's family. He's family. He was on we our panel. Him. Yes. Oh, my God. Eric is just everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Eric is something else, but we love him. We, we love do. Him. He's smart an awesome, guy. Real awesome smart person. Guy. Smart awesome guy. person. Yeah, and yes. then the biggest person we met, and he has such an influence on us yes. in our gaming life, mm -hmm. is you know Alan Moon. Alan Moon, the, cre the designer. Yes. And creator of a super IP, yes. Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride. Yeah, and you know, he yes. was so nice. He and you his know. wife were oh, so nice. Nice, nice Nice guy. to talk oh, with man. him and kind of hang out with him a little bit. So down to earth. So down you to know, earth. You know, we just, just kind of gushed on him. Like, yeah, hey, and, we and, love your game. you know, Matt Leacock, you know, all the stuff he's done, he was so down to oh, earth. Oh, they were all down Martin to earth. Martin Wallace. Yeah, I mean, just John so DeClaire, nice. You know? John DeClaire. We, yeah, John DeClaire. John DeClaire. We saw him again. We, we, yeah. I mean, I know we're going to miss some people. And forgive us if we miss people. You know, I'm a church girl. They say, charge it to my head head not my heart yes if we miss your name we're sorry but it's not that we don't love you we love you yeah we're just our memories we got all the we got all the we got all the most of the designers <laughs> we get everybody yeah. i hope so but we just had such a blast it's just a blast and i want to talk to you a little about it i mean i guess we want to talk a little bit about the games we played yes yes so we have a list of games we played now grant is going to show you a lot of pictures of who we saw yes. so yes. You, you'll see that little little run through so this is in no particular order but we played Seas of Strife from Amigo Games. Yes, yes, and that we did. came out in 2015. Yes, it's a little trick-taking game. No, it's not really trick-taking. Well, yeah. It's a reverse trick-taking where you know yeah. you're gonna get tricks, but you don't you want, don't want them. the tricks. You don't want the tricks. Like stay yeah. away from me. Right. I don't want to try. You really don't yes. want the tricks. That is so true. And that's a good game. It's a really good, good game. game. Yes. Another game we played was Inca. Ink and Gold. Ink and Gold. From uh, Eagle Griffin Games. It's an old game. It's from 2005. Yes, yeah, old game. It's a nice little filler. It is a filler game, and you're out here hunting for treasure. It's a push your luck. And it's push your luck. Push your luck. Because you want to get back to the campsite and With collect what you can. Before you get messed Before over. you get messed over by yeah. some type of disaster, yes. volcano. That's some in the kind temple. of you know, Something yeah. that's in the temple. Yeah. So then the other one we played was Ladder 29 <sighs> from Green Couch Games. That came out in 2017, and that was a fun game. Yes, I enjoyed that. I hate that. That, that game <laughs> hates me. 
You talk about a game that hates somebody, it's that game hates game. me. I enjoy it. Every that. time I play it, I, I, I'm the last person. <laughs> I don't hardly move, y'all, but it's a, a card shedding game. Yeah, a card shedding game. It's a card shedding game, so yeah. <laughs> now, another one that was played is Secret Identity from Funny Fox Games. Yes. Came out in 2022, and I think Grant played that Grant one. Grant played that one. Yeah, we didn't play that one. Yeah, we didn't play that one. And then you played Barcelona. Yes, from Board and Dice. Board and Dice, that 2023. Is a really, it's a really good game. You know, it's a lot going on you know with it but yeah. it's not as complicated yeah. and crazy as you think it is once you play about a round or two you know what you're doing well, i haven't played yeah. it yet but i'm but she's gonna play to it, it. she's gonna play it yeah now another one on our list is time's up title recall and that's from r and r game that was me that was you that was okay. kind of, it, a lot of people say they play it at cons because yeah. it takes a lot of people yeah. you know you can do yeah, it says four to 18 yeah you can do teams and stuff <laughs> And you have to, you know, uh, you know, in the first round, you they try to you give, they give, you know, the person give it, it gives you a clue. Okay. You know, you get the cards. Yeah. And you know, the person that's giving out the clues, they give like a, a couple of clues. Yeah. And you try to see what's going on. If you make one wrong one, yeah. you know, you lose the chance to do it. So and then the second round, you only get like one clue, and you can only make one, you know, answer. Okay. And then the last one, you got to act out. Your clue. I mean, oh. your, your, you know, the, the title, you got to act it out. Okay. You got to pantomime. And I'm, I wasn't that good was at that, family. <laughs> I wasn't good at pantomime and that stuff. Not at all. But it, it's an interesting game. It's an interesting okay. game. I didn't get a chance to play it, but yeah, uh, I'll take your word game. for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, another one on the list is Black Friday from 2F Spiel. Yes. That's a 2023 game. We didn't play that either. I think that was Grant. Yeah. And that's a yeah. Freeman Freeze game. Yeah, yeah, he makes a yeah. lot of games where everything is green. Now, All the games are green. Another one we play, uh, that you played is Bonanza from yes. Amigo Games. Yes. Now, I didn't play it with you this year, no. but I played it last year. Yes, you're doing yes. bean farming. You're yes. doing bean cute farming. Beans. And you're also negotiating. It's a lot of negotiation yes, in that game, and mm -hmm. I like that. Trying yeah. to do your little bean farms and try to make income off the beans. The, off the beans. So That's I really right. do like that game. Yes. Now, another one we played and we've talked about several times is Fruto Play. Yes. From Explorate. And yes. that came out this year. And we no, it's not out oh, yet. Oh, it's not out. Actually, well, it's, it's 2023 yeah, on yeah. here. Yeah, I think they said, I think we were talking about. It's so out, much. it's just not out here. No, no, it's not even out in Europe. Ah. It's coming out this month in, this, uh, no, in I think December is coming oh, okay, out. okay, December. Yeah, it's coming out in December, yeah. but it's not out anywhere yet. It's a fun little game yes. we picked up at World Series of Board Gaming. I've been playing it ever since. Yes, from the publisher. Yes. The publisher gave us a copy. Fun little game yes. where you it's a it's a trick taking game. Yes it is. And you've got these seven target cards and you're trying to get your number as close to the target number. So if the number is a fifteen, you want to get as close to that as, and they have different fruits on the card. Yes. So your goal is to match the fruit and get as close to the number if possible. Yes. So that you can take that trick. Yes. One thing you want to do is avoid the bad fruits. And that's thirteen. And that's the rotten fruit. That's thirteen. Stay away from you them. Stay away, they, away from they every thirteen. Them. Yes. Now, the next game we played was, or you played this one, yes. was Age of Innovation from Capstone Games. Now, this is a really cool game. It's in the Terra Mystica universe, okay. and it's actually Terra Mystica. So, you know, a lot of Terra yeah. Mystica combined with uh, some stuff from Gaia Project. Oh, so and they put smashed, them together. Yeah, they smashed it together, and they made, you know, Age of Innovation, and I like it. Oh. Now, a lot of people say, well, will this take over from the regular Terra Mystica? And I have to tell you, I'm going to have to play it a couple more times, but for right now, no. Okay, no. I still like Terra Mystica, okay. yes. Okay. And then on our list, I just mentioned... Texas Hold'em, the yes. poker tournament. Now that game came out at 1810, yes. and people are still playing it to this day. Your father played it. My, my dad yeah. played poker. Yeah. And that, that just goes to show how games are just in, it's just in, in our, yeah. our DNA. We love to play games, and games just, if they're good, they'll last yeah. for generations, yeah. for generations. Uh, another game that was played, I think this was you as Sides. well. Sides. Yes. From Captain Games. Yeah, and this one is a party game. Okay. Where you have these, you put out a, a series of like letters. Okay. And then you have two teams. You have a team that's going to give you clues, mm -hmm. and then a team that's got to, you know, have to figure out what it is and mm -hmm. give, a, you know, just one answer. Okay. It's just a one-word answer. But what you have to do as the, uh, you, when you give clues, you have to take from the sides. That's why it's called sides. Oh, sides. You know, you take cards from the sides. Because mm -hmm. if you go too deep into mm -hmm. the cards, you lose a whole bunch of cards, and that's how you lose oh. the game from, you know, all these different cards. Because it's like about, maybe about seven cards yeah. put down. Yeah. And uh, on each side, you got to figure out, like, if you have an M, 
you know, M on one side. You got to figure out a word that fits M that can fit the clue. I mean, the word that you're trying to get them to say. Oh. Yes, you got to do that. Interesting. And it is interesting. <laughs> and then in your clues, you can say, well, you know, when you're talking to your partner, whoever, like, I think I have a, a, a word here that's an M, mm -hmm. maybe six letter M word. You know, mm -hmm. that's all you can say. You're like, mm -hmm. I got some words here and there. Yeah. So that's what you do. Yeah. And you try to give them something. And then you give them the clue, like, moon okay and you gotta hope they get it oh, you know then okay. you gotta just keep going down with the cards until mm -hmm. you know and you try to get them before you lose all your cards but oh. it's an interesting party game i like it a lot oh okay. yes so we're gonna sides. have to play that sides yes. all right so another one we played was surfosaurus max Ooh. from lucy goosey games yes. comes out it came out in 2023 and it's a fun little game yes it is which is kind of like it's like a poker game yeah and it, it's uh one of those where it's kind of cooperative where you're working together to try kind to get the best of. poker hand out of the cards that are played yeah. and you want to be in that hand yes. so that the card you played will count and you'll get points for it in the yes. end. So if you play something and you're not involved in that poker hand, then you're not going to get any points. It's an interesting game. Yeah, and, and you know, you, you can either get half a point Yes. You know, you know, well, you get half a coconut or a coconut. <laughs> well, a whole coconut means you get all the all points. points. A half a co coconut is half the points. Yes, yes. yes. And it's so interesting because, yes. you know, everybody's going around yeah. and saying, hey, you know, can you get into this, like, you yes. know, three of a kind or something yes. like that? Full and you house. A full house. Straight, and you're trying to get in there. And you want to get in. Yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, it's an interesting game. It's I like it. And lots of fun. It's lots of fun. Now, the highlight game for me. For this con, she really did next like this game, to the poker tournament, yes, is Volanimo. That's yes. from 25th Century Games. It came out in 2020. We played it. This was on Nikki's list of some of her favorite games for uh, 2023, which is kind of, uh, I think they did a new version for 2023. This yeah, is on her list. But I think the French, but this was new to her. Yeah, new to yeah. her. So this game was so much fun. And this one is a card shedding game yeah, as well. Car, it's really You're trying to get shedding. rid of your cards. You're trying to get rid of cards. And you want to be They're the first to one to get yeah. rid of all of your cards. Yes, yes. And it is so much fun. And it's kind of, the, the way the points are added up and how you do it, is a little tricky. So yeah. I want you to check it out and kind of you know, look at it on BGG. But the main thing is you got to get rid of your hand. That's get rid of your hand as quickly as, as quickly possible. As possible. Because the first one to go out gets the most points. Yes. The second one gets the next set of points. And it's a lot of fun. Love that game. Played it a lot of times. We love that game so much. No, no. You love that game so much. Tell me what you did. That we were on the road yes. back to Omaha yes. talking about the game. Yes. And I got on my phone went to Amazon and bought it while we were on the road yes. so that that game would be here when we got back. And so we were on the road. That was Tuesday morning because we it was late. No, it was, it was actually still it was Monday, Monday night. Still Monday, Monday night. night. We yeah. didn't get home till Tuesday morning because we got home like 2 in the morning. We kind of stopped, uh, stopped some places. We stopped some places. We stopped some places. But uh, the game was delivered on Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> that, yes. That's how much oh, I And what else did we get? We got Caesar Strike. See? Yeah, we now, got that too. I, I played it before a couple of times before Starla. Yeah. And then this was the first time you played yes. it at BGG. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And Star said, I like this game. And yeah. I said, you know, I never, I, I think I can grind, I get uh, uh, green lighted now. <laughs> so if it was green lighted, can we get it? She said, mm, yes. Yeah. So we got that so one. So we too. ordered that from the car. Yes, yes. So technology is wonderful. You can get what you want while you're on the road. And when yes. you get home, it'll be there in a day. <laughs> it'll be there in a day. So, and that was a lot of fun times yes. that we had. The people we played those games with, good yeah, people. Yeah. And I had a lot of fun. We did. We had a lot yes. of fun. Yeah, we would be remiss if yes. we didn't say thank you to Aldi and Michelle and the entire BGG yes. team Love for them all. everything they've done to yes. help us, you know, get into the uh, lo uh, location, the convention, and, and with Jeff, our show. Jeff. Oh, Jeff and yes. his crew, you know, for helping us with our show, making sure yes. we had mics and everything else we needed. Just such a nice group of people. If you ask them any questions and stuff, they did their best to help you. Lots of fun. Yeah. This is one of my favorite conventions yes, to attend. Is. Oh, and we forgot Lincoln and Nikki that on our panel. Oh, we didn't thank our panelists. Yes. Okay, we had a panel yes. on Saturday. Yes. And we had wonderful panelists. And we had Eric Lang on our panel. Yes. Marcus Ross on our yes. panel. Lincoln and Nikki from Game Night and BGG on our panel. Yes. And it was so much fun. Everybody shared their top games of 2023 Lincoln thus and his 3,000 games that he wants to add. Yeah, Lincoln has this long list. I, yeah. I don't know. We had Lincoln last year, and we give Lincoln one number. And for some reason, kind of like my husband, 
uh, those numbers always come with a bunch of yeah. extras. He would do a game before the game that he really wants to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> he, yeah did so, a, he did a pregame. Like, so I was like, Nikki, what game. number are we on? Because everybody else is on number three. What are you on number seven? About five, I five, six. <laughs> but we love Lincoln. We love you, you keep doing your thing. You do you. You, you do you. <laughs> yes, we love it. And we will go along with it. Yes. <laughs> and then Eric, he had his own list. Now, yes. we had the topic was, you know, new games of 2023. Eric decided to change it to games that were new, new to, to him. New to him. He changed it. <laughs> List. So we, we had two different shows going on, yes, we did. but for some reason it all worked together. Everybody seemed to have had a good time. Everybody. The audience and we, had a good we time. We love them all. We love and our we just family. Had a blast. Yes, we, we yes. had a blast. And, and all the family that came, all and even the, the new that folk came. that yes. came in said, "You know, I didn't know about y'all, but I'm a fan now. So we love y'all, yeah. all y'all." And last but not least, we yes. want to say thank you to our OFPG family from yes. Nebraska. Crystal and Amanda who came in Love them. and they helped at the door. Yes, they did. Yes, they, they, they did. were ready to volunteer. Boy, they they told there. me we're going to volunteer yes. and help you guys. And then we have Nathan Newman from California. He came and he helped out with getting the mic around to everybody. And getting the timing yeah, right getting to the, the timing oh, right. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Just having that additional help when you're putting yes. on a show. That's family. Just, it's That's family. family. And, and that really yeah. helps us do our show better. Because I mean, even though you know we have Grant, Grant's working on the computer. Yes. We're trying to get everything else. And to have people volunteer to help us, we appreciate that so so much so yes. thank you guys for showing up and, and helping out we and that means it. y'all gotta come out to our shows come now. to the show we had some good times <laughs> now because we, we gave out to, uh, some good prizes some prizes and I know yes. Grant's gonna show a picture of the people getting the prizes <laughs> yes. you know we have a good time so y'all got to come and check us come out check us yes, out do that yeah do that. But, but that's that was our trip to BGG yes, I know we were a little bit all Starla, over you didn't tell them when we left we were leaving Dallas what we did well I, I, I was getting there okay I was getting all there right. Gotcha. That was our trip to BGG. Yes. We had so much fun there. Yes. Now, unfortunately for us, we spent more money on this trip coming home yes. than we spent at BGG. Yes. We were on our way home and we could not yes. leave Texas no. without getting some of those things that we miss when we're here in Omaha. Yes. So as we were driving on the freeway, yes. Grant happened to mention, hey, mom, dad, there's an Ikea. It's a big blue building. We, we forgot Ikea was in Texas because we don't have him here in Omaha. So we decided to make a, a exit and a, we turned around and went back to Ikea and did a little shopping. A little, shop, little shopping. Yeah, yeah. Which is little why shopping. we ended up getting, getting back to Omaha yes. in the middle of the morning. Yes. And so then after that, we had already made plans to go to HEB. Yes. And pick up a lot of those things that we were so used to having. A bunch. In Texas, like some of the seasonings and chips. Whataburger. And, the Whataburger ketchup Yeah, Whataburger and stuff. ketchup yes. and yes. mustard. And, yes. And the HEB uh, uh, mayo and all that and stuff. Chips. And chips. And, and, and seasonings. And oh, and my, I have a pickle that I love. There's this uh, hamburger. Yeah. Hamburger, pickles, pickles, hamburger slice pickles that I love, and you can only get them in Texas. Yeah, I like chili. Chili. I mean, just all those chili. things, all that stuff that we family. had to have. And we just had a car load and boxes full of stuff. Yeah. And then last but not least, we had to get. Oh no, it's not last. We had to get to Bucky's, Bucky's. And, and and get all the stuff at Bucky's that we can't get. In, in Omaha. The Mecca. The Mecca oh of convenience God. stores. The a, Great a truck Bucky. Stop. A truck stop. No, not truck stop. It's, it's a convenience it's, it's store. It's a truck Don't stop. Don't you call it a truck stop? <laughs> These Bucky's things are is huge. more than that. Whoa. But we got so much stuff there. Yes. And, and just happy we had a big enough vehicle to bring all this yes. stuff back. Yes. And then my last one was Brahms ice cream. Yes, she had to go to Brahms, I family. Love Brahms. She had but to go to Brahms. I didn't get Brahms in Texas. I ended up getting it in Oklahoma. Yes, yes. Yeah, because it's where, all where the way. It's from? Yeah. Where Brahms so it's, is from? it's all the way up, except for when you. Yeah, you can get Brahms in Texas. You can get it in Oklahoma. Yeah. You can even get it in Kansas. But then the next step up is Nebraska, and it didn't go to Nebraska. Don't know why. Well, where's Brom? But I love Brom. What's wrong, with Brom? I don't know. We want Brom's here. <laughs> but overall, this yes. trip was just one for the history books. Yes, we it had was. so much fun. Great little family trip. Yes, it was. Just had a blast. Great time. It was a great time, and we cannot wait because next wait till the year, next time we go next back. Next year, we cannot wait again, yeah, and we're yeah. gonna be doing the same thing. Yes, we are. We gotta restock. <laughs> We got to restock on everything. Yeah. So I cannot wait. So that's our BGG experience. Yes. yes. Now, we are not going to be doing our What Did We Get segment. No, we're not. We got a lot of stuff at BGG. Ooh, we got a lot. And we got a lot of stuff that was outside of BGG yes, that came that. to us here in our home. Yeah. You know, it was mailed to us. Yeah. So to keep this show from being longer than necessary, yes. we're going to do a special 
Yes. What did we get yes. episode yes. next week? Yes. And we're going to show you guys all the wonderful games that we've got. Some are brand new. Some are just new to us. Yes. But we're going to share all of that with you in our next episode called What Did We Get? It's a special. It's special. It's not, it's not next Sunday. It's going to be a short little episode. Yes. Yes. So be sure to look for it. I'm not sure if it's going to come out on Tuesday or Wednesday. But you just look for it. We'll let you know. We'll put it out on the socials, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Now, Stalla, where can they find OFBG <laughs> out here and all all the stuff that we've done. <laughs> Where can they find us? Well, yeah. if you're looking for Our Family Plays Games, yep. you can find us on Facebook, uh -huh. Instagram, yep. Twitter, right here on YouTube. Right here. And TikTok. TikTok! TikTok! <laughs> yeah! And if you're in Omaha, Nebraska. That is local family. You can find us on Cox Channel 22. Yes. Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Uh -huh. And Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. Yes. Now, family, <laughs> thank you so much for coming through and checking out our kind of recap of BGG, BGG. Con <laughs> Fall 2023. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. If you have any Ask RPG questions, mm -hmm. come on, bring it. We love answering those questions. We we love it. We love it. But, family, there is one thing we want you to always know wherever we are. We love you. Bye, Bye everybody. Now.